Welcome to another episode of the Poetry Club Online. I'm here in the lecture theater at the North Battleford Library. I'm really hoping that some of you will send me an email saying that you would like me to read your poems online. And that's the ref.desk at lakeland.lib.sk.ca. Thank you. We'll start this one. All right, this first one is called One of Those Days, and it was written November 24th, 1996. Have you ever had a day get you down when all you want to do is sit and frown? You feel that you should have stayed in bed all day. You wish family and friends would just stay away. Everyone on the planet has had a day gone bad. When you get out of the way, or you wish you had. Even the sun's hiding beneath many gray clouds. You vent the urge to scream, and it is allowed. You know a day's coming when you shouldn't complain, but that doesn't help you when you're out in the rain. Batten down the hatches and weather the storm. Tomorrow will be better. You'll be in good form. Some of those days sound familiar, don't they? I think so. Okay. The next one is called The Unspoken Truth. And it was written December 4th, 1996. On the day that you get married, you gain a husband or a wife, but no one tells you the honest truth. You have a new family in your life. You have two families to visit, often see one more than the other. They all want you for the holidays, your dad and mom, his father and mother. If you think it's bad now, just wait. When the grandchildren begin to arrive, everyone gives out unasked for advice. Without their help, your child will not thrive. There are days when they drive you crazy. You'd like to tell them just where to go. As the years go by and your hair turns gray, now your kids marry, time for revenge to flow. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a cute thing. All right. The next one is called Acceptance, and it was written April 15, 1996. Sometimes during a course of a lifetime, we must simply stop and say, there is nothing more that I can do. Things are the way they are to stay. There is always time to fight for right, to make this world a better place. But sometimes in this changing earth, there are some truths that we must face. A wall put up by one close mind, that person does not want to see. A loved one made a very big mistake. Forgiveness would set the person free. That person must go on with life. Time does not sit and wait. One can only hope that maybe someday, the loved one will see it before it's too late. A little more serious, that one. The next one I have is called To Feel Compassion, and it was written September 14th, 1997. To truly feel compassion for another's cares and woes comes to people whose own pain they've had to undergo. Without cares and burdens, we wouldn't have felt the need to stop, to find a deeper meaning and let the trivial things drop. 
Everyone is important because God has put them here. Be they pauper, prince, or average Joe, to him all are dear. Our purpose in life is to share God's love amongst all mankind, even if it means sharing their pain, leaving only love to find. And my last poem I wrote when Princess Diana died. Um, that's already 23 years ago, which in, at the end of August. Um, I think she touched a lot of lives and I certainly was touched when this happened. Uh, so the title is Farewell Princess Diana and I wrote it September 6th 1997. A bright young star has gone out for people everywhere, as around the world people express how much they care. A young mother and princess with so much to live for. Her smile, voice, and caring hands will see and hear no more. Her private life had pain and sorrow, sometimes more than she could bear. Through it all, she went out of her way to help people everywhere. Her charity work will always be remembered by those ones in need. Her personal touch and genuine interest were a part of her creed. Today, the world will bid a sorrowful and final farewell, recalling her life with family and friends as only they can tell. God decided to bring her home early, leaving her sadness behind. Farewell, Princess Diana, another you we will never find. So on that serious note, we will end this episode of, po of the Poetry Club. I hope to see you next time. Take care.